Clay Thompson is going to the Dallas Mavericks for three years on a $50 million contract. Uh, he, he was offered 48 to stay for two years in the Golden State and apparently that's the reason why he left and people are speculating uh, why he really left and some are saying that he was emotional and other people are saying that it's the Golden State uh, fault uh, for not paying what he deserves and they did him dirty and all these types of things but Stephen A actually just came to a show to explain uh, his side of why he thinks that uh, Golden State didn't do him dirty and the Golden State are just did what they had to do and it was not their fault so this is what Stephen A. Smith had to say about the whole situation between uh, Clay and the Golden State. But when you hear about friction be him, between him and the Golden State Warriors, that's clearly Clay Thompson caught up in his feelings. If you remember in the 2019 NBA Finals between Golden State and the Toronto Raptors, he tore his ACL, was out for the entire season. When the Golden State Warriors knew that Clay Thompson would be out for at least an entire year, they still gave him $191 million. And then he tore his Achilles in a pickup game and was out not just for the 1920 to 2019, 2020 season, but ended up being out for the 2020, 2021 season. He got paid 32 and $35 million. He got paid them their $68 million for not playing a game. So in the world of business, ladies and gentlemen, we can't sit up there and look at a guy who was paid for not playing. They paid you all of these years. There's been slippage in your game to some degree. We can't sit up there and look at Joe Lacob and the Golden State Warriors and act like they shafted. Klay Thompson, they didn't. Klay Thompson, I don't believe he believes that. Before he said all this, he said that uh, he can be upset with the media because the media cost him $30 million a while back um, when they chose uh, Kemba Walker for the NBA All Team instead of him. But that Clay is just in his feelings because, yeah, um, he was, he tore his ACL and his Achilles, so he didn't play for like two or three years, I think, altogether. And so. They just did what they had to do because at the end of the day, the NBA is a business. So, after all that, I want you guys to tell me what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that the Golden State did them, did them dirty after all? Or you think that, like Stephen said, uh, Clay Thomas is in his feelings? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see y'all on the next one.